brought the big camera fully intended on filming with it again today but because of a stupid idea on Lumix's part the micro USB port on the camera is only a charging port and it causes me to have to pull out the micro SD to get the data off of it and then put it back in the camera well I forgot I got out here on the old bridge looked down in the water saw a beautiful 20 22 inch smallmouth bass I looked just upstream of them I could see a couple little bluegills heading his way or sunfish heading his way and I thought oh this is it you watch I zoomed in I got ready with the camera and sure as hell he took off and he grabbed one and I got the hammer down on the shutter button and then I looked down with my eye in the bottom left corner of the screen no micro SD card Greetings from Dystopia, episode 161. I wrote it in my hand today. Um, <laughs> now actually, 161 is easy to remember. Some of my army friends from my last duty station will completely get it. Um, that was a terminal ID on a satellite communications terminal that I operated. Anyway, <laughs> grocery shopping. I've had several questions over the months about hiking and backpacking meals and what I do. You guys have all seen on the day hikes for me, typically, you know, shorter hikes is banana, protein bar, peanut butter, occasionally some type of freeze dried meal or dehydrated. Um, Tomorrow we'll do a little bit and we'll talk about like what I'm planning for the Ice Age Trail trip, um, what I plan on my meals are, but a lot of that just depends on what you prefer to eat and you got to kind of go from there. The one particular question was asking me to name brands of meals. Yeah, sure, I can name, you know, Mountain House, Packet Gourmet. There's a new one I've tried and I can't, the name's escaping me at the moment, but I'll bring a couple meals with for tomorrow's episode and we'll talk about them. But I found that one at, yeah, I think it was Sierra, yeah, it was Sierra Trading Post. And it was interesting to me because it was vegan. One was vegan, one was vegetarian, and both of the meals were outstanding. Um, <laughs> surprisingly. And yeah, so one one of my favorites lately has honestly been Packet Gourmet. I just think they they get things right. Flavor combinations, types of meals. But then again, that's a hugely personal thing. Not everybody is going to have the same taste buds. Back out at that field again today. Look at that cloud. <laughs> I think I've joked about that before, but my daughter, when she was little, the way she said cloud, she would say cloud, trying to accentuate it. So yeah, getting out and finding the meals that you like, that's going to be a difficult thing. Um, <clears throat> what I could recommend as far as that is go to like Sierra Trading Post in particular on their website or if you're fortunate enough to have a local store go there and look a lot of times they have meals sometimes half off sometimes more um, freeze-dried meals because the expiration dates are close at hand close at hand is relative I think the last batch I picked up there were they expired in like 2028 or something like that I've got meals that I bought online that are good to 20, 30 something. So it's not a short term investment. 
I should say it's a long-term investment. When you buy these meals, they will last a while. But that's a good way to try out the different ones that you're not sure if you're going to like them or not. Buy them and try them. Buy a couple different brands. You can even buy... Mountain House, Mountain House calls it Chili Mac. Um, the other brand calls it something else, like macaroni chili with cheese or something, or with beef. There's a lot of the same meals across the brands, but just with different names. Try them out. You'll find that you may prefer one to the other. Don't forget to bring stuff with to doctor them up. But yeah, continue to try a few meals. It's it's an investment you know you're investing in <laughs> not only fueling yourself but in your mental health on the trip believe me a bad meal can make or break a trip or I should say a meal can make or break a trip make or break a trip I'm having a hard time talking today um, don't look don't look down on backpacking food. A lot of people do. They look down on freeze-dried. They look down on dehydrated. Don't don't be that guy, you know, or that gal. Give things a chance. If you don't like the way something is out of the box, try and recreate it. Do your own version of it. You can... Uh, okay, so ramen. A lot of people like ramen, or ramen, as some people love to call it. It's ramen. <laughs> um, a lot of good meals can be made with ramen on the trail. They're filling, they're tasty, they're good for you, relatively. Um, given the environment, it's good. I love taking ramen and doctoring it up on trips with dehydrated vegetables. Um, Packet Gourmet does a good one called Ramen Rescue. It's a good starting point if you need ideas for where to go with ramen. Um, but you would be surprised what you can do with a pack of ramen and its seasoning, some dehydrated vegetables, um, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of chili flake, powdered peanut butter or fresh peanut butter. You just trust me. There's a lot of stuff you can do with that. Look into ramen meals. Um, and you'll see how readily a lot of that adapts for the trail. So yeah, don't be afraid to experiment. That's the best part of backpacking and hiking and camping. Learn the basics. Learn the things that keep you safe and keep you healthy. And then work into the meals and learn what you like, what is relaxing for you on the trail. One guy asked me what my favorite backpacking or camping breakfast was. And... One of my favorites, I don't know if it's my, if it's like the favorite, but breakfast. I love grits, dehydrated grits in the package. Um, reconcentrating, yeah, reconcentrating a package or two of them, particularly the red pepper, spicy chili pepper, or crushed pepper varieties when you can find them and taking a spam single and fry it up in my little skillet slice it up or cube it up whatever and mix it in with those grits for breakfast it sounds bizarre but yet it is so good it's sweet it's savory it's oh anyway <laughs> don't be afraid to experiment with your meals um that's the thing is you go out there and be a kid enjoy yourself there's very little stuff that's technical once you learn the basics. So there's no reason to overthink your meals. The only thing you need to be conscious of, salt loss while sweating and food out, uh, calories out versus calories in. Those are your two big concerns. You know, just think relatively healthy. If you're vegan and vegetarian, you're on your own, but there's tons of options. You don't want to carry 100 pounds of raw fruit and veg on the trail, but there's plenty of dehydrated stuff. So exercise a little bit of common sense and a little bit of due diligence. Another thing I've mentioned before um, is when you get takeout, keep the little packets or ask for extra packets. Salt, pepper, crushed red pepper, Parmesan cheese. If you're going somewhere that's got Parmesan, 
you know, all these little things, uh, mayonnaise, Italian dressing, mustard, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Save those little packages, they come in handy. Um, particularly for mixing your own meals from home when you start doing that. If you start dehydrating meals on your own, which a lot of people do because it saves money. Um, those little packets are a lifesaver to building an entire meal structure as far as your seasoning, additional flavoring, whatever you want to call it. Bouillon cubes. Bouillon cubes are <laughs> out of this world. I've had cold mornings years ago. Um, one particular trip. I think that was Shawnee National Forest downstate. I woke up. I was, you know, I had my coffee. I was warm. It was probably an early March trip, early spring. It got down below freezing that night, but I had my coffee. I had my breakfast, but none of it really seemed to warm me up inside. <clears throat> and I had a bouillon cube, so I just beef bouillon in uh, water. Perfect. <laughs> it's weird. Sometimes those little things are pick-me-ups, too. Um, again, ramen. Don't don't discount ramen and the things you can make with ramen. Um, as you progress, you can learn to dry bake, even in a little backpacking cup. Um, I saw one and I have not tried it yet, but the little... You've all seen the microwave brownie recipe. There is a dry bake brownie recipe that's along the same line. So that's probably one I will try up on the Ice Age Trail. And let's see, what else can we do for meals? Fruit, obviously fruit is good, but for one day, maybe two. So if you're on an overnight trip, that's fine. Bananas in particular, keep on the outside of your pack. Obviously candy bars, a lot of people drag candy with them. <laughs> Another quick and dirty pick-me-up by the fire is popcorn. Again, the little sachet of olive oil in your backpacking cup. Make sure you have one with a lid, obviously, otherwise you're going to be chasing them all around the fire. But, um, popcorn, come on. <laughs> Pop popcorn, little salt, little pepper, Parmesan cheese, crushed red pepper. Yeah, tomorrow I'll bring out some different backpacking meals. I'm not going to cook them all up. But I'll show you some of them that are my favorite and maybe it'll give you ideas to try, things to try. But yeah, just think about your favorite meals to eat at home. You know, it can be quick and simple things. Um, one of my favorite ones that I've been experimenting with on and off for a while now are these pasta sides and rice sides. A lot of people are using those now. I'm kind of late to the game, but in my head that was always a microwave, quick, lazy meal. But as I'm finding out with different uh, <laughs> configurations, different little ingredient changes. The, my favorite one is there's a pasta Alfredo with nothing in it. It's just pasta and the Alfredo sauce. It's pre-cooked. It's in the bag. For six, crack it 60 seconds in the microwave. Boil your water. Put it in the water. Heat it up. To that, I'll usually add salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil, and tuna. Either plain tuna or the sriracha tuna. The last time I made one, and oh, it was outstanding. So yeah, always experiment. Don't be afraid to try new things. Just make sure that you have, again, the food to refill your fuel tank. So yeah, tomorrow I'll bring out some different backpacking meals. We'll take a look at them talk about pros and cons of each one thing you need to think about with uh, freeze dried and dehydrated meals is you're increasing your water needs not that big of a deal but you need to be aware of it so yeah that's it for today folks be good be well wear it when you need to <laughs> be smart what does Mary Chapin Carpenter say? Be mighty, be strong. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hey Impact, your trademark is leaving an impact on the environment.